what's going on guys in this video we are going to see how to compile and run vhdl program on online okay i use we usually download quads set prime but uh, if you are using mac computer or any other like if you have difficulty downloading and installing and running the quads it's better to use this online platform so what you have to do is first go google and write eda playground EDA playground and uh, the first link will show up like this click that one right here and this is it now here you can use it for Verilog, VHDL and so many other programming here I'm particularly interested in VHDL because I am doing digital logic design too this is the code that is this is the programming language we need to learn this is, this is hardware programming language hardware design language very log hard de hardware design language okay now i'm going to uh, show you an example i'm going to like i'm going to make a lot of video on this i'm going to explain everything one by one but here i already make create a code this is for a while loop this is uh, this is going to run from one to nine because it's less than ten so let's go ahead and run this one here you have to verify certain things so whatever you name whatever the name you can create a new file like this if you click this plus sign that will bring you to create a new file now when you create a new file that's going to be the name you are going to have right here that's going to be dot vhd and that's the same name you have to put it right here top entity you have to put the same name without the dot vhd and uh, you know entity you have to put the same name as you created and also architecture you have to put the same name as you created okay now that's all you have to know and also here the tool we selected is aldec rivera pro 2014 and minus 208 that is select automatically now let's go ahead and run this one okay so here the programming is actually it start from execution so if you see whatever the, the things coming in the execution is what uh, what is run, like that's what we expect from the program now here we we are getting i is equal to 0 i is equal to 1 i is equal to 2 i is equal to 3 i is equal to 4 5 6 7 8 9 that's what we expected because we initialize i with 0 and uh, set the condition i is less than 10 so it's supposed to be run, running like this so it means this programming program is working perfectly and I'm going to do more examples on VHDL program. I hope you guys watch that too. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.